What's up, everyone? I'm back for the next part of this Monopoly game. Woo! All right. A double. You get another roll of the dice. Look at you. Relax. It's one of yours. Up to you. Buy or auction. Alright, well, it looks like Foreman gets his hands on yellow. But he now owns four monopolies, and right off the bat, I don't allow any more than four monopolies based on my own set of uh, custom rules that I play by. So, yeah, it's gonna be it for Foreman as far as Monopolies for now. It's just the best way to balance the game. After many trial and error games, I found that four Monopolies just works with four people, so that's how I do things. Ninety, that's not even anything. Foreman's kind of not doing so hot right now. But at least he's going to own a lot of properties. He'll have that going for him. Time to take a chance. Nice, get out of jail free car. You pass go. Time to collect your salary. What do you say? Bye. All right. So it looks like Fez is going to get his hands on purple. Well done. That property is yours now. Up to you. All right, so here's how this works based on my rules that I created since I play by a different set of rules to ensure that the game doesn't drag on for 10 million fucking years. Um, if a character who already has the max amount of monopolies to start off with, which is four, would, and then the only other way that they can gain more is by bankrupting anyone. But for now, since Foreman has four... This, uh, he would auction it to the person who has the least amount of properties, that being Hyde, who has zero, so Hyde is going to get his hands on green. Oh, this is thrilling stuff. That's actually kind of funny, Hyde is going green, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh god, that's you fucking did. funny. That was a weed joke, by the way. I was talking about weed. Well, you know, going green. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, well, you can go fuck yourselves if you don't get my joke. He smokes dope. It's as simple as that. You get another roll of the dice. Look at you. It's up to Creme brulee. That goes to Foreman. I wonder what's going to happen here. Foreman's going to get a property. That's what's going to happen here. You are going to go shut the fuck up. That's what else is going to happen here. Although, unfortunately, you never shut the fuck up, Monopoly guy. Nice! You could advance to go, go to jail, end up out of pocket, or even get a surprise. Fez just visiting jail. It's always a fun time. Just visiting. It's up to you. Buy or auction. 
since there it's now see now this is how this works too let me explain this so since like I said before Foreman already has the max amount of uh, monopolies that you can start off with in my version of monopoly or by the rules that I play by but since Hyde and Kelso both only have one monopoly I there is no one with the least amount of uh, monopolies so in the interest of fairness I cannot auction it off to anyone that's just how things go. I think it's a fair way to balance the game. So blue remains open. The lucky bastard who lands on it. Who is not Foreman. You must go. Time to collect your salary. Ah, that sucks. He's still doing pretty damn good though. Alright, so it looks like Kelso is going to get his hands on blue. It's going to be out quite a bit of cash now, though. What a great investment. Landing on another player's property means you have to pay rent. The more expensive the property, the higher the rent. That'll help him out. He definitely needs the extra cash right now. And that goes to Foreman. Sucks. <laughs> You're going to have to pay the bank a pretty sum. You rent with houses? That's gonna hurt. Oops. Let's see what happens. My bad, I did not mean to press that. Foreman's starting to uh, get some of his money back. A double. It's your property, just enjoy. Relax, it's in your portfolio. That goes to Fez. Let's do this. What a great investment. That goes to Foreman, I believe. Interesting. New bid. The deeds are in your name now. Landing on another player's property means you have to pay rent. 
expense of the company to hire the rent. It's community chess time. Hmm. Well, in that case, then, it will also be time for a second round of houses on red. Oh, this is thrilling stuff. When you build houses, you increase the rent that other players pay. Yeah, Foreman might actually be in some pretty good shape right here. It's up to you. Bye. And that goes to Fez. Now it's time for Fez to start putting some houses down. When you build houses, you increase the rent that other players pay. Now Fez might actually be in pretty good shape too. to Kelso. Sucks. Money in, money out. Can't avoid tax, I'm afraid. Landing on a property without. Wow, that's actually good. Wow. That's yeah, pretty solid. Two fifty, yeah. It's not bad at all. You must go. Time to collect your salary. You can straight up buy it. And the path to riches. Well done. Wow! That is some fantastic luck! I'm excited! When you build houses, you increase the rent that other players pay. Yeah, man, Foreman just had some really good luck. 
Man, Foreman got luckier than that time that I got lucky. Wait, that just sounded really fucked up. I meant lucky as in, like, actual luck luck, not as in, like, I fucked someone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? Anyway, that, that sounded really messed up. Never mind. I'm just gonna go kill myself. It's alright. <laughs> Man, Monopoly is so much fucking fun. In fact, it's probably more fun than it should be. Wow, you landed on chance. The owner has more than one transport. Wow. Kelso really needed that though. That'll help him out a lot. Three doubles in a row. Alright. <laughs> Hyde is back in jail. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. Is it time to pay the rent? <laughs> that was a good one. Damn. <laughs> Sucks for Kelso. Let's go. Time to collect your salary. Money in, money out. And the boy packs, I'm afraid. It's your property. Just enjoy. And that goes to Foreman. Chocolate biscuits? Is that actually a thing? Are there actually... Is there actually such thing as chocolate biscuits? Huh. If there is, I've never fucking heard of them. Let's do this. New bit. Well done. Well, Foreman's doing pretty good right about now. He's a little low on cash, but he should be fine. You pass, go. Time to collect your salary. Chance. Could go the choo choo train. You pass, go. That'll pretty much pay for that bill. more than one transport property. Looks like this is going to be one costly trip. Kelso's not doing too bad. He's hanging in there. Bad luck. That was some good luck for Kelso. You get another chance with the dice. It's your property. Just enjoy. All right. Up. It's just a short stretch. And Kelso is in jail. That is excellent. more 
than one transport property. Looks like this is Those are starting to pay off for Kelso a little bit now. <laughs> so to be interesting. All right, awesome. Foreman is in jail. Go to jail, end up out of pocket, or even. Oh my God, that is the most amount of people I've ever seen in jail at one time. <laughs> That's amazing. Three at once are in jail. What are the odds? Don't actually answer that question. I swear. Make your choice. You've tried your hand that was funny. I know it only lasted for a second, but it was fucking funny. Ah, uh, yeah, fucking roll the dice. A disappointing, still locked down. Well, I feel like this is a good spot to end it, so I shall. That'll be it for that one. Peace out.